Before we do anything more with our Rails application, we're actually going to take a little detour and talk about version control. We're going to be using Git, which is, as the website says, a distributed version control system. And that's the version control system that you find very frequently in Ruby and Rails communities. And so that's part of the reason why we're going to use it. We're also going to use it because it's very frequently used in the open source community at large and because of the distributed nature of the revision control system. Finally, we're going to use it because there's a very popular repository, remote repository that we can use with GitHub, called GitHub, and it's going to be kind of our communication mechanism between us. And, and so we're going to do a little bit of learning of what Git is, what a distributed version control system is, how it's different from tools like Subversion or CVS that you may be a little bit more familiar with, and try to make sure that you understand Git. It's very powerful, and with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, it also means it can be very easy to uh, break if, if you don't know what's going on. So we're going to take that detour into Git, I'll learn how it works, and then we're going to come back to our Rails application and enter it into our version control system.